Tell yeah. us some of the more interesting aspects of the trip over the last uh, four weeks. Sure. Uh, yeah. I would say that the drives have been some of the, the, more, the biggest challenges that we've faced. Uh, it's been incredible to try and do this entire road trip. It's 17,000 miles roughly. It's mm -hmm. going to be about 150 hours of driving. And what's amazing is you, you get done, the day games have been a challenge. You yes. get done with a, uh, a night game and then you have to leave right away and try to spin around and make a day game the next day yeah. where you, you'll have a 12 hour drive and only 13 hours to do it. Yeah. Or, um, you know, we, we drove from Tampa to Houston in one of the legs and that was 16 <laughs> hours and we had, you know, 18 hours yeah. to do it. So it's, uh, it's definitely been, been, uh, these guys sound like players, d <laughs> like, uh, like uh, Brandon Phillips are yeah. not happy with the getaway games at night. <laughs> they need a Red Bull. <laughs> IV, I think. Or 10. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you've had a couple close, uh, close calls on the road, huh? We have. We have, yeah. Well, there, Is there was a tree few. incident. There was a tree. Oh, oh, there was a tree. I it was in New York. That. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. We uh, we had parked uh, to take the train uh, to get in to get into Yankees. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Check it out. Look at that. We came back in uh, to to our car, and that was the spot we were gonna park in. We were. We ended up being two spots away from where that tree fell. So that would have been an abrupt end to the trip had that happened. <laughs> Yes. Twitter account sure. and all. Yeah. A little journey. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we've had a Twitter and uh, a website that we just kind of, we started to keep in touch with our friends and family. Twitter for our friends and uh, the website for our parents who don't know what Twitter is. <laughs> I have, like, this dream of going around to all the different stadiums and trying the best foods at every ballpark. <laughs> Give me some of the highlights. The glazed donut, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. No, that's, no, the, no, sure. that's the churro dog. Well, we, there was the churro <laughs> dog at <laughs> Chase Field, the churro dog. We, we had no idea what it was before we got it, and when we got it, it ended up being a long john bun, a churro in the center, three scoops of ice cream. There you you can see it on your, on your screens right now. Yeah, and, uh, covered boy. in whipped cream and, and uh, chocolate sauce. <laughs> that, that puts you right to sleep. Sure. Oh, yeah. You guys can't have too that. many of those. Well, friend, the interesting part is we didn't know what it was. We just told, we were told yeah. to get it. So we walked up to the vendor, we ordered it, and that was the very first thing we ate in the ballpark that day. Try staying awake for this. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. You're ready for a nap. Yeah. What, what stadiums have you enjoyed the most? What? Uh, I think our, our favorite stadiums were AT&T in San Francisco. We really liked Kauffman Stadium in Kansas City. What a beautiful. gorgeous park. Yeah. PNC in Pittsburgh was mm -hmm. another one. And I think our favorite stadium to uh, sort of disagree on a little yes. bit is uh, Petco Park Petco. in San Diego. It's a beautiful stadium, but... Yeah, there's a lot going on there that's not baseball related. Yeah, I love that. I love all the stuff that's been. They got you know a beach. They got a park in the back. Like the got, gas lamp district. Yeah, right exactly. There. That's right. Easy.